last kid And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you me this cloud It's all in the sky Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is K-Tail and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing, of course, another hair video. But as you can see, this is my hair. I did just wash it earlier this morning. We got a package from Yumi's Hair. And this is it right here. This is the box that it came in. And if you know Yumi's, they always send me a few extra things. A robe, I have about 20 of those. And a little package of items that I might need for when I'm actually doing my hair, such as a wig cap, a wig band, these are some sticky notes I believe, and some lashes. Here is the hair. This is a V-part wig. That's good. So actually I won't be needing the cap or anything. This is a V-part wig and it is, it doesn't have the length on here, I believe. Okay, 22 inches. So V part wig, 22 inches, and it is curly. So this is what it's looking like. Super curly. That's like mad curly. Okay, it's super curly. This is a 22 inch curly V part wig in 200 density, so it's super thick. Um, Y'all know I like my thick hair. And it has this breathable cap. I believe we went over this a few times in my previous videos but this is the breathable cap just like you can see here i'm going through the back of the hair through the cap so that's real friendly especially if you're wearing braids underneath this so that you can easily you know get to your actual scalp then it also has four clips oh wait hold on five clips i didn't even peep this one so it has five clips, that and then these four on the top. So you'll clip it back here and then the two clips around the perimeter or the braid. Then it also has this band that you can take off if, it, if you don't want it, which is adjustable. So it also has these bands in the back where you could adjust it tighter towards the back if you want it to be tighter in the nape of your head. Then these two clips on the side as well. So this is what the whole construction of the unit looks like. So this is what it's looking like. I am gonna go wash this. While this is deep conditioning, I will be braiding down my hair, so, so I will be right back. So I'm back, the hair is or has been washed. For this curly hair, I'm really trying to decide, and that'd be the biggest question, like do I wanna do a side part? Do I wanna do a middle part? I'm thinking side part. Because side part, I feel like you could never not eat with a side part, okay? Let me say that I did not have to deep condition this hair because the hair was so soft. Or the hair is so soft, especially while I was like just, I was combing through it with um, shampoo in it. And the hair was so soft, so I'm like, yeah, we don't need to deep condition anything, to be honest. Anyways, um, B part wigs are really just a sewing. Pretty much like it's the quickest sewing you will or sewing looking quick weave whatever that you will get boom so that is my leave out right here that's what I'm leaving out you could leave out less hair but because my hair is so thin I could you know I like to leave out a little bit more sometimes I won't sometimes I will and you can also leave out some in the front right here but that's going to be covered by the side part over here i would like to leave a little bit out as well just so i can do some dramatic baby hairs so now we could really start braiding the first few braids are going to be super small and then once i get to the back it's going to be some big we did not care like no one's going to see the back it doesn't have to hook onto nothing type braids okay <laughs> braid down because if I was to braid a braid going back this way and this way I feel like it would be a little bulky right here when I put that clip in and we don't want that we just want like a kind of a flat install something that looks super flat I do this also when I'm doing sewing unless it's a curly sewing it's not too bad because curly hair is always bigger curly hair is always bigger so I don't be like doing all that when it's curly hair After this braid, I'm gonna um, start doing those big 
ugly. Not really ugly. This is gonna be neat, but I'm gonna start doing those big Zuki kind of braids. Okay, we are done. Finally, this is what the braid is looking like. So like I said, I did a small braid and then the rest of them kind of got bigger gradually. Pretty bigger. This is my leave out, like I said. Um, it's fine where it's at. Oh look, that's so cute. So now for the hair. The hair is so pretty. It's like very luscious. And this is the hair with no product in it. So this is what it's looking like. Look how good that's like just going through. Like it's really just going through. Now V part wigs and U part wigs are so easy to put on. So if you ever just need somewhere to go or you have somewhere to go and you don't have nothing to do to your hair, or if you just took your hair out and you need something quick, girl, get you a V part wig. To install this, I'm going to open up all of these clips, every single one of them. Make sure the back is tightened where I want it to be tightened at. Now I'm going to slip this on my head and I'm going to clip that first one in to that braid back there. Then I'm going to clip these in on the side, bring this over and then clip these in on the side. Then there should be another clip over here somewhere, this clip. Right here, I'm gonna place that into that braid. Just like that. Now everything's all tightened, secured. The clips are in place. It was cute. What is looking like? That's so cute. So I'm gonna take my leave out out. So my hair, I'm trying to get it to blend. I think I left out like just the perfect amount of leave out. What I will do though, is take some of my leave-in conditioner. This is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Pasta Oil. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, this much, and put it on my hair. And whatever's left over, I'll just put it on this. Like that's not going nowhere how secured this is. Nowhere. Nowhere. So I do think I will diffuse this a little bit, but I'm going to do my edges first. So I'm gonna use my Eco Styler. This is how I do my edges. I don't use, what is it called? Edge control for real anymore. It was definitely a little bit too thick for my hair type. The baby hairs wasn't flowing. It was just gel down. Like that didn't look cute. This looks so good. It's so flat, like. So this is what the hair is looking like while it's wet. Now, this is not the final result. So if y'all think this is the final result, y'all, you're wrong. I'm gonna go put a little face on, let it air dry a little bit because I don't wanna diffuse it. I was thinking about it, but I don't wanna diffuse it because I wanna, I don't wanna possibly ruin the curls of what it could look like. Like, let's say you in a rush, you gotta wet your hair real quick, put it on and go. You can't diffuse it and stuff. You gotta let it air dry. So. With that being said, I'm going to let it air dry and I will be right back to show y'all the full results of what this looks like. Big, poofy, juicy curls. And I will be right back. hours so it's been about two hours this is what the hair is looking like it's so soft it's so fluffy like this I can still run my fingers through it but I do not want to mess up my curls right now definitely so delish like this is giving delish to speak on it I did do a few um, layers right here just like right here I use my shears and I just kind of ran through it just a little bit so that it's not like 
all in my face and I did want a little bit of framing, if that makes sense. Um, my hair is actually blending into this really lovely and then the curls are just so curly, it's so soft, like this hair is so nice. How juicy it is. Now I am fluffing it out, like I did fluff it out a little bit. It's super quick to put on. So I was planning on taking this hair out, but honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it in for a few days. Sorry if you hear my cat meowing, my little kitten meowing, because she's just all over the place. She wants some attention. The back looks so good. It's still full in the back as well. Like it's not a flat. That don't have my head is flat. We've talked about it. It's not flat, so it's still getting full back here, as you can see. This is the hair with absolutely no product in it. I did not put foaming mousse. I did not put um, anything in it, like literally anything. I just put a little bit of my leave-in conditioner at the top to make my hair blend with the hair. But this has nothing in it, and it's just so soft. Like, the quality of it is soft. It's not stiff like some curly hair. Speaking of some curly hair, I've ordered this very known brand, supposedly raw hair. But when I got it, but after about a day or two, mm -mm, I've ordered raw hair before and didn't have that problem. I'm letting you know right now, oh, for someone who buys hair and also receives hair, I should have saved my money. I should have saved my money. Save your money, sis. This hair is so luscious, and I did not have to sew this in. That's all you have to do. I'm back. Okay, anyways, because I was rudely interrupted by my kid. <laughs> she was not playing. Yeah, y'all. Like I was saying, this hair is undeniably the best hair that I've had. Y'all can see how fluffy and flowy it is. Like... Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rub my fingers through it, but like, let me know what curly hair you could just easily run your fingers through, okay? I'll wait. Mm, okay. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, this hair is the 22 inch curly V part wig, 200 density from Uni's hair. Undeniably one of the best hair that I've ever had. I showed y'all how I installed the hair. Simple, quick, easy, under 15 minutes, unless you're waiting drying time. Drying time is different, but that install process, under 15 minutes. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Follow me on social media, which will be popped up right here. That will be all for this video, so until next time, bye.